Well, welcome to the first video of uh, Fruitscapes, new YouTube channel. Um, first off, I just want to let you know I'm no expert at any of this, but uh, I do grow a lot of different berry bushes and fruit trees. Uh, basically in my front and backyard, I just live in a typical suburban neighborhood and uh, have a small addiction to planting things that, uh, that I can eat. Anyway, as you can probably see from this picture that I've got focused in on right now that this is a blueberry plant. Um, these are still in bloom and uh, are in the process of being pollinated in order to give us a good blueberry crop this year. And as you can see, we are going to have a good blueberry crop. This uh, plant is about two years old. I bought it at a typical big box store. For probably eight bucks or something like that and uh, planted them right here in my front yard there's one there one there and another one there um, anyway just want to give you a quick little uh, lesson on the pH of the soil that these are planted in uh, apparently they like a real acidic soil meaning that uh, around four and a half to five and a half would be the pH scale in which these would grow best at. Um, I'm going to go ahead and test the pH of uh, the soil that these are in right now. So I'm going to make a little soupy mess there so that I can take this basically this pH tester and stick it in here. So I'll try to Do this to where we can look and see what we got. This is basically a pH of six and a half. Which is not quite as acidic as these would like. Uh, this is kind of on the upper end of what uh, will allow these blueberries to produce. However, one of the things you can do if you didn't amend your soil prior to planting um, is you can put pine needles at the base of your plant. Now these I actually put some pine needles mixed in with the dirt that I planted them in, but I also leave um, pine needles on top of the uh, base of the plant there so that when I water them it kind of uh, adds acid to the soil. So whereas the soil itself is testing six and a half, my guess is is that, um, or here we are at six right now, um, my guess is with these pine needles, I'm somewhere between five and a half and six and a half. So if you haven't ever amended your soil and you tried planting these, one way to possibly get that acidity level to the pH level to where you need it to be is by adding pine needles at the base of each of these plants. And honestly, I actually just took, uh, took those pine needles from the tree that's growing right behind it. And I did that on each of the plants. And every year I'll put fresh pine needles down to help with adding uh, to the acid in the soil. So I believe that has helped these plants actually uh, produce so well. And I would love to tell you the, the actual name of these particular uh, blueberries, um, but I have since forgotten. Again, I just bought these at a big box store and they, I know that they produce Last year they produced some really big blueberries, probably the size of your thumbnail. And it looks like we're going to have quite a few hundred berries um, this year off each plant. So anyway, quick little tip about changing the pH in your soil. If you've got a pH of above 6.5, 7, 7.5, that's probably a little bit, um, a little bit high and, and you need to lower that pH to, to get it more acidic. So that'll help with uh, these plants to produce more. Also having a couple different varieties for cross-pollination um, helps as well. So I, on this side of the garden here I've got uh, a different variety altogether. I'll look up the names of these and get back with you. I'm going to show you the growing process throughout the year um, as, as these blooms become pollinated and uh, produce blueberries. And Hopefully you can share in the experience. I highly recommend planting these. They're very ornate bushes and if you were looking from the street you wouldn't even know that these 
uh, were blueberry bushes. You would just think they were ornamental bushes, so they're real nice. See you later.